So folks, I'm back out in the garage again today. It's uh, 20, about 27 degrees. So <laughs> if you see me blowing a bunch of steam, that's why. I should have made this video first. This is, uh, uh, kind of wanted to let you know what all we're going to be doing with this thing. Uh, um, I'm not going to be doing a full restoration. I just want to let you know that this is not a, um, I, I don't have the facilities or anything to take this thing off the frame and, and go through all that. But, uh, I am going to be getting into some interesting projects. Uh, like I've been showing you before, we're, we're going to be doing the paint on this thing and, and I'm not going to be putting polyurethane or anything like that on it. I'm going to go with something that is, uh, something that I know about is the enamel. That's what I do. Uh, that's what I know. And uh, so I'll probably be using Rust-Oleum Regal Red. It's a perfect match for the original color on this truck. And uh, so we'll be going with that. But we also will be getting into stuff like redoing the dashboard. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you why. Uh, the uh, original dash is laying back there in the back of the truck. And I'll bring you around and let you see that. And uh, we'll go on from there. Here's the dashboard. I pulled it out of the back of the truck. And I know it wasn't sitting in the back of the truck all that time. It was actually inside. We had to move it out when we, we moved it in the garage. But uh, as you can see, it's very cracked and and uh, it's very, very brittle. All this stuff is it's just crispy. Uh, so I've, I've, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos online uh, on YouTube. And uh, there's several different ways to do this. Uh, one of the ways is basically just uh, take everything off and try to reshape it. I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, another way is to cover it with uh, another piece of vinyl. Uh, after getting rid of all the cracks and crevices and filling those with either foam or, or Bondo, that sounds like a pretty viable viable uh, solution to me. And I think that's the route that I'm going to take. The most difficult part would be getting the speaker uh, things back in place. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about that, but I'll figure it out. Um, then after after that, uh, actually not after that. This will the, the dash will come last. Uh, after we get it painted uh, and and get to where it can sit outside without worrying about it rusting any further, um, then we're going to uh, take the uh, get it running and so that it can be moved. But before we can do that. I've got to put this gas tank back in. Uh, the reason why it stopped running and was taken out of service many years ago was because the ethanol gasoline had rusted the tube that connects the fuel pump to the sending unit that you see at the top. Uh, the pump was working, but the tube was rusted away and it had fallen down into the bottom of the tank. So really all this truck would need to run would be the uh, a new fuel pump and sending unit and a battery I hope uh, providing the engine isn't seized now from sitting for so long if it is then we'll have to do some work on the on getting it moving again uh, there's a lot of a lot of ways to do that and we'll cross that bridge when we get there but I'm hoping that it'll spin right over Last time it started, it started by pouring gasoline down into the throttle body. Yes, this is a throttle body uh, induction. It's not carbureted. So, but uh, as I was saying, the uh, interior is pretty shot too. Uh, so we'll be going into new floor mats. The new floor. Yeah, I guess that's a mat. It's, it goes all the way across. It didn't have carpet. Of course, new seat covers and then the dash just to let you show you uh, about that uh, regal red from rust-oleum here's a can of it and you can see that it is a perfect match I've actually sprayed it on some stuff uh, some areas around the window when we put the windshield in and it it is it is a perfect match 
Uh, so I'll be going with that Regal Red from Rust-Oleum. The uh, it'll need some some gaskets around the windows and the uh, the doors on the inside. Uh, that's that's the kind of stuff that I can do later on. But once we get the truck painted and uh, get it running again, then that's when I can really start tearing into the interior and uh working on that the only as i told you before the only uh, a bed a piece of a bed that i can use to uh, cut some of this stuff out and then weld new new metal in same uh, down there on, on the cab corners there those are i'll be getting those from lmc truck most likely they're not really expensive only like 12 dollars or so for for each side and uh then we'll get her squirted um really the only other thing that it's going to need after that to to be put back on the road will be a new set of tires and hopefully the brake lines haven't rotted out um, and we'll go cross those bridges when we get there. I wanted to bring you guys in and show you this. Uh, I got a wild hair at my rear end and decided I was going to clean the bed out because I'm going to have to get the bed off or at least up in, in order to change those cab corners out. Uh, I'm completely shocked at what I found. I was expecting to find a whole bunch of rust and holes and stuff like that because these leaves have been sitting in there rotten for years, years, years. <laughs> uh, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Check that out. Of course, the tank's back there still. But no rust in the corners. I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. This is... Uh, a very pleasant surprise there's hardly even any dents in the back of this truck uh, there's a little dent at the top here and over here this is kind of pushed in right there I don't know what dad had on that but it's not bad it's not terrible probably can be easily fixed but just the, the lack of rust is just totally amazes me I'm very, very, very happy about that. So it looks like all we have to do back here is just scuff it up a little bit and, of course, pressure wash it first, scuff it up a little bit, and then squirt it. Now, the top here, I haven't really been able to get you guys in to see this. It's almost in the same shape as the hood was in. Not quite as bad. It still has a little color on it. But uh, it's definitely going to need some some pretty serious treatment as well uh, the back back here only in this top top line here now a little bit right in there too but that's really not that bad that'll probably just sand off uh, but everything else is in pretty good shape happy 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 <laughs>